Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Wig Boss Gals Wednesday. And today I'm going to show you how you can be a corporate bae, a date night bae, a any type of bae, a professional bae, whatever type of bae you want to be in this banging wig. I'm going to show you how to do these layers, get these curls, and get this flawless hair hairline with no baby hairs so if you're interested in seeing this video guys then stay tuned i am doing another sam's beauty review and it comes the wig that i got came in this alley hairs box um it's the full lace wig ocean wave 18 inch it's of course another upscale unit it's 100 percent version hair and this is how it looks so guys for this to be an 18 inch it doesn't look that long honestly i don't know what that's about but um it's full lace wig i always love how they're constructed i did go ahead and bleach the knots i did take out the three wig combs that was in here but i always leave the one in the back Okay guys, so do not underestimate a little black wig. So I feel like a little black wig is just like a little black dress. You can always use one, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, and in this wig you can literally be corporate bae or date bae or professional bae or just whatever type of bae you want to be. So again, this wig is supposed to be 18 inches, but like I said, it stops right here so I don't think it's quite um, 18 inches but it is a full lace wig so sometimes the um, sometimes it just differs like with the actual length when it's a full lace wig so I'm gonna take my hot comb and we're going to hot comb the front so I'm gonna show you basically how to get like some sexy voluminous hair and be careful guys don't burn yourself because i always burn myself when i'm doing this so you kind of want to go in an upward motion when you're hot combing so that it can give you that volume and we're gonna do this around the entire front of the wig I don't have any baby hairs right now. I may add some, but I may not. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the quality of the lace, which is pretty good. I don't know if it's from my got to be glued spray or what, but I did get like some whiteness, but I'm just going to use some um, makeup powder foundation to camouflage that when I'm all done when I figure out what exactly it is that I want to do as far as the baby hairs go so now that we have the volume in the front area and it's hot comb pretty well I'm going to part it where I want to part it and that's down the middle as you guys can see I bleached the knots and they bleached really well really really well gonna take my hot comb again and define this part but you want to keep the volume while you're doing so and the great thing about this wig guys is it's a full lace wig so you can part back as far as you'd like so as you guys can see this is definitely a deep deep part but I may not keep it that deep so when you hot comb you want to scoop up I hope y'all seen that okay so you want to swoop it up when we're doing the hot comb 
and that basically as you guys can see it's adding volume up at the top because this is not going to be a flat look at all you guys see how that is we want to do flips when we're doing this with the hot comb it's in the flick of the wrist guys it's in the flick of the wrist The cut that I'm going to do, I want it to keep this volume. I want to have layers and I want it to give a lot of va va voom. So, what we're going to do is this wig is definitely a good canvas for this cut, but I'm just going to go in and make it a little bit more pronounced with my layers. So, you want to make sure that it's all combed out. We're going to take our handy dandy razor comb and let's see. You want to take the, the fine tooth side and you just want to make the bottoms kind of even. The great thing about this razor comb is that it's not going to make it look like perfect and it'll look more natural if that makes sense. So as you guys can see. I just made that even really simple basically what we just did was made guidelines so as you guys can see that's kind of like my guideline right there and it's a more professional way to do this but this is the easier way so basically I'm gonna take the longer side and just go down and cut like that in layers so you want to grab your next section and make sure you grab bottom piece so that can be your guideline. And we're going to go down the hair again. Just like that. And if you guys look, you can kind of see the slant. You want to make sure that slant matches the slant in the front and it definitely does. So gonna do this again so as you guys can see the difference this side just has a lot more body this side is like flat if that makes sense so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side And you just want to take your cut like this this side is a little bit longer so we're just gonna go in and go a little bit shorter on this side And boom you have your layers so I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I curl this up and you'll see the finished results So bad. So bad. She said she loved me, no 
stop crying And I don't know how I allow you to dream me this way And still I stay See my days are cold without you You are Okay guys, so as you can see, I have a lot of volume here up top and the curls are definitely popping. Like, look at that. Layers. It just looks so good. And honestly guys, I feel like a weave that is layered feels the most natural. So, I'm going to definitely let you guys see my hair with my outfit and everything on. Thank you all so much for staying tuned to this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.